Hello everyone, it's Silly Simix here. Welcome to a brand new video in The Sims 4. And in this video, I am building four bedrooms with the new update with bunk beds. I'm actually using only the loft beds. So with the new update for base game for The Sims 4, we uh, got two new bunk beds and uh, the respective loft beds. And if you don't know what a loft bed is, um, it's only the top bunk of a, a bunk bed. So I decided to create four bedrooms to see uh, how I can use these new objects in our builds and to give all of you some inspirations for your builds as well. So these four bedrooms are like some ideas of what you can do with these bunk beds and loft beds. And I actually really, really like all of them. So this first bedroom is a little bit of a bigger bedroom. It is up on the gallery right now. You can use my ID Citizenmix or search with the hashtag Citizenmix as well. You should find it pretty easily. It's very pinky and girly, uh, and it's only for a child. So only a child can use this entire room. But I did play test it, so it, it all works if you are using a child. The reason is I placed the bunk bed that you're seeing right now, the loft bed, on the in the middle of the room basically and it works as a divider so children can actually walk underneath the bed adults cannot because they are too tall but children can so a child can walk underneath the bed and go on the other side and that's the only way they can access the bed and also the only way they can access the stuff that I put on the other side but it's a fun little idea to have a little separate part of the room um, for like toys or like a secret area of the room only for the kids to access. I think it's a very fun idea and I really, really like how it looks. So uh, again, it is up on the gallery. You can just download it right now and it works. I completely play tested it and it's super fun. I actually really, really like it and it's super pink, but of course you can always change the colors pretty easily. And of course you can also use this idea in your build and uh, put just put the love bed. It's base game, so you don't need any packs uh, just in the middle of the room use it as a divider and your sims, your children's sims can be able to walk underneath. And uh, yeah, as I said, I completely played as it. It is up on the gallery if you want to download it. It's a fun room that I really, really, really like. Uh, and it's probably one of my favorite. I made four rooms. This one is the first one that I made. And I think it's just super, super fun. There's everything that you need. There's um, the, the bunk beds, obviously, is the bed and it's accessible. Um, there is a wardrobe. There's a nice um, desk with a computer. And there is a nice play area right here at the back that we're working on right now. And uh, as I said, this area is only accessible by children and I guess toddlers as well. It's not really like a toddler is going to go here because there's really not much stuff for toddlers. But if you have a toddler sim, you can still do this. Um, maybe you have a toddler and a child in your family and you want them to share a room. You can put the, the toddler bed on one side of the room and the loft bed, use it as a divider and have a nice area for them to play on the other side that they only are the able to be able to access. Teenagers, adults, young adults, elders, all those sims are too tall so they cannot access this area, but children and toddlers can easily so i think it's a nice fun idea for your child uh, for your children for your kids bedrooms uh, I, I think it's very very fun and uh, you can really do a lot with this and uh, really separate the areas i think it's a nice 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 idea and again completely pay tested completely works it's a pretty expensive room i think it's thirteen thousand simoleons so it's a pretty expensive room, but this also is the bigger room that I built, I think. So it makes sense. And as, again, a lot of decoration, I really wanted it to make it look cute and uh, all pinky and nice, just because that was the vibe that I was going for for this room. Uh, the other rooms are v way, way different. You're going to see them in a second. Uh, here are the screenshots for this room. Again, as I said, it is up on the gallery. So if you want to download it, you can. And uh, yeah, it's completely, again, 100% functional. I did play test the bed. It can go up and use it no problems so i really really like it i think it's super super cute and it's a nice nice idea for you guys to try it out i think i think it, it looks nice so now we're moving on to the second bedroom and uh, this one is going to be a little bit smaller and it's going to be more of a sporty kid room so this is a perfect bedroom for your child that loves to play sport or 
I don't know, it's a, maybe it's a little bit more of a sporty type than the, the first bedroom, it was very, very much pinky pinky. Um, this one is way more like sporty and cool, and I really, really like this one too. And I did place a desk underneath the bed, so your sims can access the desk no problems and work on it, and again, they can access the bunklet as well. Um, the only unfortunate thing about this update is that when you are placing objects underneath the loft beds, if you place them in more than the first uh, spot that I'm placing this desk, for example, if you place a bigger desk, they won't be able to access the bed. Uh, so just be careful if you're trying this that you're not using a big desk, only the smaller desks uh, like I did for this one. Um, so that it's only on one tile. If it's on two tiles and or underneath the stair part, I don't think they can access uh, the better above. So obviously, if you're trying this out, be careful, play test it all the time, uh, just to make sure that your sims can still access the, the bunk, otherwise it doesn't make any sense to have this. Um, but I did play test this again, uh, they can access the bunk, they can access the desk, and it everything, everything that they need, it's in this room, and it works. So, um, perfectly fine, and I think it's super nice. I like the color scheme I went with, uh, oranges and blues, very contrasting colors, I think they work well, well, very well, and I like it. So again, this is up on the gallery, you can download it as well. Um, again, my ID is in the description as well, if you don't know how to spell it, it is in the description of the video. So, uh, just so you know, uh, this bedroom is super, super cute, I just really, really like it. Again, try to I tried to make it look like it's lived in and a child actually owns this bedroom. And, oh, uh, actually, soon the next two bedrooms are more geared towards teenagers slash young adults than the first two bedrooms, just so that I can show that it's a pretty versatile kind style of beds. Um, so when you're firstly like using bunk beds, you immediately think of children, but I really wanted to try something a little bit more mature, so the next bedrooms are gonna be more geared towards that, while this first two are more child bedrooms, and of course you're probably, the first one for sure, you're gonna have to change it if your child grows up, just because they won't be able to access the other area. Uh, but yeah, these are the screenshots, I actually really really like it, I hope you guys like it as well, let me know in the comments down below. And we're moving on to the next one in a second. And this bedroom right here, this one is a medium size, I'd say it's a 5x4 bedroom, so it's pretty decently big. And again, as I said, this one is more geared towards a teenager. Um, I think this one is more teenager and the last one is very much a young adult bedroom. Uh, but I decided to try and work a little bit more with the desk idea. And I put a lot of stuff underneath this bed to try and make it look like a functional room. Uh, it's completely functional again. Uh, you cannot access the, the bookcase right there, but I did place another bookcase in the room so they can access that. I had to change the desk for a table just because the table work um, a little better than the desk in this case, just because the desk has this slot for the chair in the middle, while the table does have it on uh, the side as well, and I really needed it on the side, and I placed this little uh, side bedside table uh, right there, you can see it right here, um, just to make the transition between the desk and the bookcase the floating bookcase a little bit better but you can see right here that's the desk spot and here i placed the um other bookcase so that your sims can still reach books and work super well oh actually yeah i was thinking that i was making this a little bit smaller it's a four by four actually yeah so it's not super big actually yeah i'd say this is medium sized um the second one is small and the first one is definitely the bigger room. The last one you're gonna see, that one is very, very small. And you're gonna see that it's actually uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I, I, I do say so myself. Um, and But this one is fun. Uh, there's a nice guitar, so your sim can have a nice activity to play, something and, you know. Um, since it's a teenager, you're probably gonna start working on their skills, so I think it makes sense to have a skill building items. And uh, I decided to place in the guitar, of course, in your bedrooms that are inspired by this. If you're ever gonna do one, uh, you can place anything that you want, and you can make them bigger, smaller, and anything. This is more of a idea kind of 
style that you can go for, for with the bunk beds that I think works very, very well. Again, completely functional, I did play test it, and it is up on the gallery as well. So if you just want to download it, you can, no problems. Oh, I placed a nice couple of the new posters as well. I tried the new swatches, I really, really like them. Uh, again, another part of the update that we got with the bunk beds slash loft beds that I really like, the new, all these new um, swatches for paintings and uh, for um, posters that I, I, I think those were very, very much necessary and it looks super good. These are the screenshots, of course. Uh, I really like it. I think it's super fun and fresh, very neat room and it works super well. Uh, just be careful with the wood swatches, just so you know, it's pretty hard to match the woods in The Sims 4. So this bedroom right here, this is the last bedroom that I did, and this one is a very small bedroom, and it's more geared towards a young adult, I'd say, and I really, really wanted to test how much space having a loft bed does actually save, and I think it's decently saving space worthy. This bedroom is pretty small and thin, and I think it works pretty well um, with the bunk bed uh, right there on the side. I'm gonna put a nice sitting area, I'm calling it. It's basically just a chair <laughs> underneath, and I think it works super, super well, actually. Um, and again, always a bookcase, and I'm gonna place also a nice uh, desk. Again, completely work um there, there's no issues with this uh i was trying to make it longer in the end i think it just fits much better like this and here is gonna be the desk area i decided to do a custom desk which is something that i don't usually do much um but i think in this room since it's a little bit more modern and a little bit more cool it made sense to have a custom desk so you're seeing me right now i made the desk smaller and i'm gonna work a little bit with this um awning I think it's called Forum Eco Lifestyle, the glass awning that you're seeing me place right now, and that's gonna be the custom desk. I think it looks much modern and cool, so that's another fun idea for you guys to try out. But this is, you know, about the bunk beds that we got. So, as I was saying, this the bunk beds completely work, and they do save a little bit of space. Not much because you cannot really fill the space underneath with much stuff just because of the fact that otherwise the, back, the bed doesn't work. But I still think it's worth um, trying it out and trying to use them sometimes, especially in smaller builds, just because I think they can really save space a little bit. So just my opinion, just so you know, um, if you try them out. Uh, again, they are base games, so you don't have to have any packs and they look pretty cute. So just so you know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is basically the video. I think we're working on the last details for this bedroom. And again, this bedroom is up on the gallery. You can download it right now. My ID is silly simix, so you can use dash silly simix. But I'm gonna say my goodbyes because I'm basically done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about these bedrooms. Let me know which bedroom is your favorite. And again, you can download all of them up on the gallery right now. So just... If you like them or if you want to take some ideas or inspiration from these, please let me know. Tag me if you build anything like similar to this because I really want to see other takes on the bunk beds. But thank you so much for watching and bye bye.